I just pulled up to work and today's gonna be a great day. Not only is it Friday, it's snowing over the pass to go get my trailer. <sighs> Why? We have had the worst winter in uh, over a hundred years and it honestly is so frustrating. So I canceled Monday to get the trailer because of the snow and I said if it was available, I'm gonna turn that music down so I don't get copyright. Ah! Um, Monday I canceled because of the snow. I said if it was meant to be and the trailer was still there by the weekend, we would come get it. But we didn't take into effect Saturday will be Easter weekend and the traffic will be dumb. Saturday is our only day off, so I didn't really want to waste our Saturday doing that. And we have Friday afternoon, so we're going Friday afternoon, which is today. So at one o'clock, we're going to head up to Sacramento to get my trailer and the snow just started. Um, luckily, it does say most of it's rain, um, some snow. We're going a new way and we're bringing it back. So I'm going to take you guys with me today. So it's only 11 o'clock right now, but at one o'clock I will um, pop back on. It's going to take us two hours to get to Sacramento, probably a little bit longer because of the weather. wasn't bad and we're just waiting for um, the guy to come to meet us for the trailer and it's uh, in there and super excited And then someone found it and <laughs> someone found it and uh, auctioned it. Yeah, auctioned it off. Is it the one? Is it the one? Yeah, it's so pretty. Look at it, it's so pretty. We like it. I think it's mine. We just can't get uh, the brake lights work, but we can't get the brakes to actually engage um, for the trailer. morning after getting my trailer and I'm gonna go out and film it for you guys and do like a walkthrough and everything that we have to probably definitely update like those mofos are effed we need new tires and um, we did get a spare tire that came with it thank god um, if something had happened on our way home and then there's a bunch of just little dents but I think that's how we got the price uh, so low because this thing brand new would have been above my budget. So, these lights need to be replaced. They're super yellow. And then this one's missing down here. It's like gonzo. It's probably when they hit something and dented it. Um, 
but supposedly this window was um, a custom after market because it doesn't come with this trailer and there was no lock with the trailer so that freaking sucks but these are on all entry points so then I'll have to get padlocks um, and remember a code my husband says I can't get one with a key because I'll most likely lose the key <laughs> which um, is not a lie so these are pretty easy to, to open it's not like the cutest thing here but And we'll figure out what we're doing with that chain because it's just chilling there. So, I'm pretty excited because it's already painted. Um, I kind of wanted wood floors. We could always change that. But the fact that it's clean, I'm, I'm happy with that. And there's our spare tire. Um, so the, the point, the, the window kind of sucks because it takes up inventory space on the wall, but it is helpful because there's another one here. So we're gonna get airflow pretty well. So I'm not worried about that. Um, there's another dent, like what the fuck down there. Again, it's why I got it for the price that I did. This is a 2015 and it is, I believe it was 8 feet, it's 8 by 16, so it is outside the wheel wells, which is nice because you get the extra width in here. And then this was interesting, right about here, this goes down at an angle, I went maybe 45 degrees, I don't know, but it, it goes down at an angle. And that was kind of weird, I haven't seen trailers, I guess, the ones that I've looked at. Um, but it actually helps and aids once that ramp is down and it flows really nicely and I can still put inventory here and then haven't decided yet what we're doing over here and there's a lot of a lot of stuff I have to figure out we're probably gonna keep that hole but put like more of a, a rubber uh, grommet in there so it keeps dirt and bugs and animals off and then there's lights in here. There's actually four, so that's cool. We have to figure out if we want to do um, batteries or generator. I think I want to do a both. And we also have to figure out if I want AC because it's going to get hot. This is the look, okay. This is the first day with my trailer and it's the day before Easter. Um, we're going to not do much with the trailer today because we have a lot of other spring cleaning to do. But some of the fixes I just wanted to mention the lighting. Um, maybe if I turn the camera around. So some of the fixes include this right here. We're missing the trim, the door trim right here. And somebody put holes they're pretty small holes, but you can see there's holes in the wheel well. So somebody had something screwed to that wheel well, which is not good either because then dirt and debris can get through there. Obviously it's protecting the wheel, but snow, mud, like we don't want that. So we have to fix those. Um, this is just a vent <laughs> over there. I had mentioned we were going to fix that hole um, down here, which we'll probably put like a little uh, grommet type thing because we want to be able to put wires through there uh, for I think the battery, the generator. And then I'm going to get rid of that. We don't, we do need the spare tire, but we're going to attach it. Um, on the front end of the trailer instead of back here so I can have more inventory. Um, so it's actually a, like a welded piece of metal but it has a frame that I can take down. Um, here we are going to put grass 
like a faux, like a turf fake grass. Even though I kind of like the diamond plate, it's really nice and it's nicer than the other ones I've seen that were just plywood. So I do like the diamond plate, but um, I really want the grass turf. I might keep this panel, the diamond plate, uh, because it does have this extra piece that flaps down. Uh, so then when it's closed like this, it will just be like a grass wall, kind of cute. And then, I mean, the whole trailer is just inventory and swimsuits. So, like every foot, foot and a half, we're gonna have um, hangouts. And it's just gonna go on both sides. Um, my other racks were eight feet tall and they're not gonna fit in this trailer unless we cut the pipes. And I don't think I wanna do that. My husband's Hi, husband. Um, on Papa. Not on here. Because wouldn't you want your battery or generator? You don't have to do something with the battery. The generator would just be inside and pull it out and use it. And it can just hot go under. Um, with the other shelves that... into the generator. We gotta have some way of plugging in to a battery or to a generator. To run. And I'm not sure why you hide your key right there. You don't. That's really <laughs> dumb. Yeah. If this was like back here. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, that's fucking stupid. Oh, it just moved. Um, the, I was going to say the plus side, if I did have those racks that went across, I could use this space. So I wanted to drop the ramp to kind of show you guys, but let me head in here. Here is part of the trailer, right? And then there's like a line here. So that's the nose. This is the extra. Right here. So I was just curious to see how big this, this thing actually is. So the nose is 16 and a half inches. Almost, uh, it's 16 and a half inches. Right, 70. course and the fly just had to come in excuse me sir that's a massive fly too where you've been hiding okay so this actually says uh, it's at 17 and the red too so I thought it was they advertised it as 16 feet they turned the camera 16 feet so even though the nose is only, let's see if I bring it back. Music so, it is 16. So it is 16 feet and that is without the nose. Which is kind of cool to know what your ex extra nose is, an extra 16 inches. 
but that is at an angle. It's not a true extra foot. So um, what I love the most about this is where the door is positioned. So the bigger the trailer, the more room you have to place the door between the wheel well and the front of the trailer. But this space right here allows for me, if I want, to put a tension rod across and we would have this much room for a fitting room, which would be awesome. But I still don't know if that's where I want my fitting room. Um, I also have a pop-up fitting room you guys have seen in previous shows or vendor booths that I've done. A pop-up fitting room. It's big, it's like seven feet tall. And it has, it's like a C shape with a curtain rod. I thought it would be cool to just butt it up to this door. And this would be the entrance to the fitting room. It would be external still, but then I would be able to put that fitting room to use. I wouldn't be able to use it otherwise. And I think I spent like 1500 to get it custom printed and everything. And it's aluminum uh, pipes and everything that, that you put it together. So it'd be kind of cool to butt the curtain up to the door and then you just go down into the fitting room, which would then give me space or useful space to put the register up here because if the fitting room's there and then I have the register, I'm just losing more space for inventory. So I don't know, I have to map it out. I think it would be super cute to have a fitting room in here. Um, even if it was just half and the other half was my register, it wouldn't have to be the full side. But with the, the size of this, I could get two fitting rooms. I could get two fitting rooms. I just don't know if I want to take up that much space. I don't know if I'll need two at one time. And the option of doing one on this side and one in the door with the custom tent uh, fitting room, then I have the option to still have two fitting rooms and the register. Decisions, decisions. Going outside, we do need new tires. We need um, four new tires. The spare is fine. Um, and then there's some things like this that are dented that we do have to hammer back. There's a light down here that needs a new light. So we do have to put a few hundred dollars into it. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with putting, we're gonna put some money into it, which I knew anyway. The turf on the back, um, the wall units, we have to make sure they fit. And I'll probably paint these boxes to match either the white or the gray. I think gray would look better. The white might get too dirty. Um, there's also an option for this vent here. Since the hole is already there, we could put, um, they have fans that pull hot air. I forget what it's called, but um, it's like a, it kicks on when it, when because heat rises, it kicks on, it does some weird thing. Or you can put an air conditioner there, you can put a couple different units in there that would help circulate. Me and my husband spoke and we actually talked about not opening that one. For one, it's stuck and we can't get it unstuck, so we can't even get it open. But it will be enough airflow when the ramp is down and having this vent, I think it'll be enough airflow in that door that we don't need this one open, but it brings light in, which is awesome, because I love natural light. But I wanna bring this ramp down so I can show you guys um, the ramp.
So the ramp is down. This extra piece is supposed to flap down, but we parked it too close to our trailer hitch. So, fucking cool. So another idea is we're gonna put an awning on top of the roof. The awning will come out and it will have two legs and it will be like a covered patio type of thing. I could see this becoming super hot in the summer too, but we're gonna put the turf here. We might put a rug that transitions this gap so nobody gets stuck in it. Strollers or heels. Um, oh, that sun is so bright. And then this is so cool. I'm so excited, you guys. So fun. I mean, I everything I wanted for right now it's everything I've thought about size-wise dreamt about oh gosh this door does have a tension on it with this wire um, up here so if this thing is not flipped it um, is kind of lifting a little bit it's also not level we don't have jacks for it yet we need to buy jacks we need to buy wheel chocks and a bunch of other little things. This is it for now though, and I'm super excited. Thank you guys for following the journey to getting my mobile boutique. I'm so excited. It'll be fun to do a transition of what it looks like after 